Hello guys, welcome back to Crypto Deep Dive. I'm your host Mehdi Farooq, Senior Investment Analyst at Tokenmetrics. So guys, uh, lately we have seen Metaverse just been on a tear. Uh, Metaverse has, has been outperforming everything. Uh, market thinks there is no COVID in Metaverse. Uh, and, and, and the markets uh, are so hot at the moment, especially for Metaverse, uh, that it becomes very difficult for, for analysts like myself to kind of keep up uh, with the price action or the valuation expansion that Metaverse projects are getting. But guys, fear not. Uh, I have one project for you, which I'm going to analyze in detail. Uh, if you have been attending the webinar or seeing some of our YouTube videos, you already might know about this project. Uh, uh, so, the, so the project that I like uh, is called RMRK. So before I jump into that project, I just want to give you an overview of what has been happening in uh, happening with Metaverse. So last, uh, so this chart has been borrowed from MacroHive. Uh, they, they provide global macro research. And so th their chart kind of shows that since the start of the year, Metaverse has outperformed uh, all the other sectors, including Bitcoin, DeFi, and also layer one smart contracts such as Ethereum and, and Polkadot and so on and so forth. Now, there are a few reasons why Metaverse, which by the way includes gaming, includes Metaverse, Metaverse as in digital real estate, uh, digital schooling, digital mall, and basically digital lifestyle and NFT. So when you combine all of these things together, that's the formation of Metaverse. So it has been uh, performing really well because firstly, the market recently have started to think that if the COVID returns, uh, there won't be any COVID within the digital realm. So market are thinking life will go to a stall, but Metaverse is where people can still hang out. Not only that, uh, Metaverse has a kind of a special feature that in terms of hacks, rug pull and anonymous founders, you typically don't see that. So for example, if you're playing a uh, play to earn game, uh, any game, let's say XC Infinity, the risk of smart contract hats, hacks are, are much more pronounced in DeFi where you have a lot of uh, value locked and, and the transaction size is huge and, and the smart contract has uh, millions of dollars locked. So, so in case of gaming, you just have gameplay and you have a token in addition to that. So there isn't that kind of a hack that we typically see associated with crypto. So market have been very bullish on Metaverse. A lot of youngsters, a lot of millennials and Gen Z, they understand gaming. And, and basically because of that, uh, the, uh, the sector is running hot. Now, the, and, and the Everest valuation has also gone up a lot. But there is one project which fundamentally I really like, and I think the valuation is cheap. So I'm not going to waste any, any more time, and I'm just going to delve right into it. So the project ticker is RMRK, Remark. So they are uh, basically, in my opinion, they are just game-changing uh, innovations in terms of NFTs and in the future metaverse. So I'm going to walk walk through some of those innovation. Hopefully, those innovation kind of make sense. Uh, so just think about this concept where NFTs, firstly, can be anything. Just just have an open mind with this. So um, imagine NFTs can be anything, but for just for the sake of simplicity, right right now, let's assume you your your NFTs are your typical JPEGs, and now assume that NFT can also own other NFT. Uh, so so in this case, I'm going to give you a real world example. So imagine this is an NFT. This is a bird. It, it's called Canaria. Um, it's loading at the moment. Yeah. So, so this bird is the parent NFT, but this cool NFT has a feature where it also owns other NFT. So this is the parent NFT, and these are like some of the other NFTs this uh, the, uh, the, this uh, NFT owns. Not only that, it also had like smaller items, if you can see, on its head, on its leg. Uh, these are also like small uh, other NFTs that these NFT owns. So, for example, this is a case of a typical NFT, and this NFT owns this laptop, which is customizable. It owns this 
rainbow poop. It owns different jewels and gems. It has like a cool sun glass. Uh, sun glass represent kind of like a cool sun glass of metaverse. Also has a mic. So this NFT can own other NFTs. This is what I'm saying. So at the moment, this is just an example of JPEG. Just be have an open mind. Uh, so at the moment, this is not possible on Ethereum and our market is kind of uh, doing innovation in this regard and where where they're kind of creating this innovation called nested NFTs, where you'll have, again, I'll repeat this, NFT owning other NFT and complex multi-layer composable NFT. So in this diagram over here, you see this 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 monster, which is a representation of one NFT and this monster owns this pair. Uh, monster can also own shield, can have different facial expression, and all of these separate separately can represent NFTs. And this monster can be the parent NFT and, and can own a lot of these resources. And these resources could be like mini NFT. So I think it's 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 a cool invention, especially uh, when things get complex later on. You'll you'll kind of see why this innovation could be brilliant for us. Uh, so also imagine NFTs. Uh, being multi-resource. So lately in, in, in token metrics, uh, what we have gun, done, guys, is that we have sold our book as JPEGs. Uh, not a like not a book, the whole book, but like the chapter of those book as uh, as NFTs, we have airdropped them to those uh, uh, those customer that uh, that that bought the book. Now imagine if token metrics uh, created a multi-resource NFT where let's say you had uh, one picture of the chapter listed on OpenSea. So when you open that NFT, it takes you to OpenSea and you just see one pack picture of the chapter that uh, that got airdropped. Uh, you can also have the whole book in a PDF format. So let's say when you open your Kindle book, you access that NFT which opens in a PDF format and you can read the whole book. But what if there was another uh, innovation where Token Metrics also gave you the audiobook as an NFT and you open that audiobook NFT it takes you to uh, Audible, and you can uh, listen to the uh, listen to the NFT and listen to the whole book. Uh, things don't stop here. What if uh, Token Metrics also gave you avatar for your for your YouTube uh, for your Twitter, where it kind of gives you a label that you're a loyal Token Metrics uh, customer, and you can use it as your Twitter JPEG. So imagine there is one NFT. But NFTs have multiple different formats. It has a 3D format. It has a PDF format. It has a JPEG format. So you can kind of think about NFT uh, having multiple different resources in different format. And RMR is also kind of working on that, which I think is pretty innovative, pretty cool. Uh, On-chain emitocons. So at the moment, one of the biggest issues we have with NFT is, is the element of price discovery and how to appraise uh, some of the NFTs. So at the moment, we are limited to JPEGs, but I, I'm going to mention later on, NFT can be anything. It, it can also represent digital art. But for just for the sake of simplicity, let's keep it to JPEG now. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you an example of what this on-chain emitocons are. So let's say I go to these bird canaria, right? Uh, let's say... Uh, somebody gave me uh, this rocket science, which kind of represent that, oh, this is bullish sign, or there's a, perhaps a moon there, which kind of represent bullish sign. So if this is a legendary NFT collector and he kind of gave me this validation, uh, th that could perhaps mean that the value of the NFT is high. Uh, and this is a valuable NFT. And, and this is what is also uh, possible now through RMRK, where every NFT will have these emiticons that will kind of transmit messages implicitly what the value or, or what the features of these NFTs are, uh, which which is I think which is a which is a quite a neat feature. Now this is this is where guys uh, things get very interesting. So please bear with me. I'm going to try my level best to make things. Um, as uncomplicated as I can. So, so now when we talk about NFTs, right? We just we just thought of these NFTs as JPEGs. Now let's take one step ahead. Let's say that these these NFT represents metaverse. Let's say it represents uh, uh, 
a whole metaverse and that whole metaverse is represented by one nft so when i say metaverse it could be like a whole society where you have digital malls you have digital schools you have digital land you have people hanging out people playing video games and and people just chilling in a virtual coffee shop and so on and so forth now what our market is doing is they're saying that okay you you can have this uh, you can you can have this metaverse as and and you can represent it as an nft but this nft can basically react to on chain and off chain trigger which i think is super cool feature so for example i can link my uh, whole metaverse with uh, what's happening in the us or what's happening in in india so let's say the the population the demography the social elements uh, let's say the whole economy so inflation rate economic growth rate stock market uh, even natural disaster so whatever happens in that real economy uh, my metaverse uh, will kind of react to those events and my metaverse will also have those elements so for example if the stock market in america crashes and i create a metaverse where i also have a stock market the stock market also crashes here if there's an earthquake for example in japan god forbid i don't want any earthquake to happen <laughs> but let's say if there is a earthquake there's an earthquake in my metaverse and there will be casualties in my metaverse so so you can do all of these cool stuff with conditional rendering but it can also be applied in in kind of a paints in kind of arts as well so so over here um you have few example let's say if mona lisa blushes right uh let's say you have mona lisa's nft and you click one particular button in your phone the mona lisa will blush she can like also smile she can also uh, feel shy she can feel sad she can cry and this this can be because of off chain triggers like let's say like uh, a click of click on my mobile phone uh So yeah, these are like some of the cool things they're working on. Uh, so let's say if you guys give this video fifty fifty likes, uh, my video, which is which can be represented as an NFT, will 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 basically have a rocket rocket emoji popping up everywhere. So this is this innovation is called conditional rendering, and RMRK is 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 kind of uh, working on that, and they're gonna have their own uh, metaverse by two thousand twenty two, and all of these nested NFT and conditional rendering innovations will be part of it. now 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 things get very very complicated so now just think about um real estate nfts as digital real estate but what if those real estate can be governors daos so those those nfts uh you can you can also have a democratic structure around some of the nfts you own and some of those nfts can represent digital land or metaverse so i'm going to give, give you a quick video before i kind of jump into it and kind of reiterate this point and this video is coming from the rmrk youtube channel directly so this is the video guys this is the metaverse a virtual reality location where people can unite in communities and govern this virtual world together in a metaverse people and communities can own land just like in the real world each plot of land is an nft that can contain other nfts so this is guys this is what nested nfts are so let's say this is a plot of land maybe this is a plot of land anything built on top of this land uh, can be owned by this piece of land so this land can be nft and anything built on top of it is like a nested nft this this piece of land nft owns other nfts and basically encompasses everything on that land so this building can be owned by this land uh, the stickers on this building can be owned by this land and and so on and so forth so bob buys a plot of land then he buys a billboard nft at an nft marketplace so so but, so over here we have a fictional character bob he buys a land so this land is an nft then he buys a billboard and makes the land own the billboard like singular.rmrk.app bob sends the billboard nft to the land nft the land now owns the billboard and bob owns the land bob orders the land to equip the billboard and the billboard becomes visible in the metaverse so basically now he forces the billboard to kind of show the ad and this ad is uh, this billboard will be visible to all of the metaverse bob splits the billboard into tokens So now this is where the DAO function comes and I think this is a very interesting feature where you can have a DAO as a service. So imagine since 
this land is an NFT and also this billboard is an NFT. What if I can break down this NFT into different cryptocurrencies and different tokens and, and give those tokens to different members of the metaverse uh, and create a DAO, like a decentralized autonomous organization or a kind of like a society where the owner uh, dis owners of these uh, billboards decide what to do with it, right? So this is what Bob is doing at the moment. And gives them to the community of the metaverse. Now they own the billboard together. Now imagine if this metaverse is very famous, but, but let's say a bit similar to Decentraland or, or Mana, people like Coca-Cola, Nestle, big corporation would be like, you know what, I, we can get a lot of eyeballs through, through the ad placement in that NFT. When corporations realize that the metaverse is full of people, they'll want to put their message onto Bob's billboard. So they create NFTs with their messages and send them to the billboard NFT. So now, uh, Basically, the billboard has an NFT and, and and the ad placement is also NFT. So all of these community members decide which ad to place on, on, on the billboard. And and they'll only decide to do that once they get some incentive or bribes. Uh, and, and so this is how the DAO will function in this virtual NFT. And then they communicate with the billboard's token holders community to convince it to show their message and not the competitor's one. The community collectively decides which of the offers is better and chooses the message to display at the billboard. This is the community-governed virtual real estate management made possible by the Remark multi-chain platform. So guys, I, I hope you guys kind of uh, understand the uh, the complexity and the, the innovation that uh, Remark is trying to do. Uh, so this is this is what they kind of show, show us in their presentation as well. So I'm going to quickly go over it again this billboard is an nft there's a piece of land uh the placement of the ad on top of a billboard is also an nft and and the billboard can get into a land this this billboard can be distributed into different tokens these tokens can then can be owned by community and 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 then corporations billboard advertisement on top of that billboard can also be represented as an NFT. So NFT can own other NFTs and other NFTs can own other NFTs. And, and based on the bribes and revenue, uh, these corporation will give to the DAO members. Uh, the, 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 uh, the members will decide which uh, advertisement to kind of place on, on, on the billboard. So this is, this is how conditional rendering and, and nested NFTs as well as DAO function within the metaverse will work, which, which I think is super, Super interesting. So this was one example of billboard, right? What if there's a digital school? Well, what if there's a digital mall and we are renting out shops on, on those digital malls? What if there's a restaurant and we are leasing the restaurant? Uh, uh, so so yeah, like the, uh, the sky is the limit in terms of complexity we can do. But in order to do complex functions, we need innovations like nested NFTs and condition rendering, which RMRK is working on. So because of that reason, I really like this uh, protocol. So even though I like the protocol, but that doesn't mean if, if there isn't any token utility, uh, I should own it, right? So what Remark token does is it does few things. Uh, so it will be used as a as a multi uh, as as a governance token. Uh, it will also be used for staking. So let's say you have to stake your tokens to kind of. Uh, turn your NFTs into DAO. So you have to use your RMRK token, stake it. And once you stake it, you're then able to turn your NFTs into DAOs. Uh, you can uh, you can also kind of use it to uh, basically as a fees to basically land in different NFT, uh, land in different metaverse or go from one chain to another. It will also be the currency of their metaverse where you can use it to buy lands and, and, and stuff like that. And, and you can also use it as a collateral uh, in order to kind of, um, uh, let, let's say your NFT is valuable, you can use that NFT, put some RM market token on it, and you can use it for borrow. Uh, you can also lend it and uh, and and uh, take some money out and use it to play around with metaverse. So, so the token has multiple utility. It won't be just a governance token, and all of this utility will go live in 2022. In terms of the token supply, they only had 10 million supply, and this. This was the valuation they kind of uh, did their pre-sales, pre-sales in, uh, and and uh, and ninety percent of the tokens allocation 
were given to uh, were given to community who kind of own the NFTs of Canaria, which I just showed you over here. So whoever owned these uh, the eggs of these birds were were uh, they were the one who got our market token, guys. Uh, so 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 in terms of distribution, it was a fair distribution, and only five percent was uh, given to the team. And these were some of the VCs involved. I must say the VC involved weren't that great in my own opinion. Uh, you, uh, I wouldn't classify them as uh, as tier one. So I think that is one of the weaknesses of this uh, protocol. But then again, 90% of the token allocation belongs to the community rather than VC. Uh, I believe the team is strong, especially Bruno. Uh, we might have him as one of our podcast guests. So if you guys have any question, please uh uh, DM me or, or just post it on our Telegram channel of of of, uh, of, um, of token metrics. What question I should ask Bruno? Uh, he's the founder of RMRK. So so this was like a brief overview of uh, some of the applications of RMRK. Uh, apart from that, they also uh, they also had few more uh, kind of uh, uh, applications that I also want to go through. So. Over here, you have profile pictures which have replaceable parts. So all of these birds and 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 your JPEG and profile pictures could be customizable thanks to your uh, thanks to RMRK. Uh, you you can have upgradable art, so you can have dynamic arts which you can upgrade uh, as time goes on. So so your piece of art does not remain static and doesn't lose value. You can always customize it. So let's say you have this bird, you want to change one of the wings of the bird. You can basically in, in future by robotic wing of one one of the arms of the bird and 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 basically customize your art uh, over here they can also they can also say you can have hybrid media so let's say imagine a static jpeg nft that turns into a video and a music nft is applied to it uh, so for example a collection of your characters that are bored uh, these are the parents nft when a dance song is applied to them the board a board picture character becomes vibrant video version moving to the uh, music. So, so, so basically if you combine music NFT with the picture NFT, the character within the NFT could start dancing, but you can also have more abstract application. So let's say you can have a white dot on a black canvas that paints line according to the tempo and the mute uh, and the mood of the music NF NFT that is combined with that NFT. So you can have like a, crazy application you can also have like a child nft as key to uh, as key to secret content so for example let's say you're a parent and you set like uh, and you basically issue your child an nft that says that if you do your homework you will have uh, uh, alexa will unlock uh, youtube content after five uh, 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 for three hours so your child does the homework he basically once he does the homework uh, he gets an nft that nft is basically um, Send send over to Alexa and Alexa, for example, unlocks um, uh, YouTube videos for five hours. So this is also kind of possible through conditional uh, rendering. So these are like some of the application which kind of made me very very bullish on our market, guys. Uh, so I hope you kind of understand the veracity and the innovation these guys are uh, going after. Now, if you look at the metaverse, right, you have XC Infinity, which has a 36 billion fully diluted market cap, decentralized and around 10 billion. Theta, which is not like a metaverse play, but still it's part of the metaverse according to coin, coin market cap. Send, sandbox, uh, 20 billion. Engine coin, 3.5 billion. Uh, render also has a valuation of around 2, 3 billion um, fully diluted. So what I've done is I've calculated the average, the fully diluted a market cap average of the whole metaverse sector and some of the uh, closest pairs of uh, metaverse play and and i kind of did the valuation over here so you have X xc infinity here you have sandbox you have decentraland you have engine you have affinity you have the whole sector of metaverse average over here you also have render over here and you have rmrk over here so guys rmrk valuation is 50 520 million Whilst the sector average is around uh, three billion, so just based on the valuation, if RMRK executes on some of the things I've shown you, it appear, it doesn't appear surprising that RMRK can do five x just based on this valuation. So this is another reason why I'm bullish on. So if you if I showed you this graph earlier, Metaverse has done really really well. So if a thing goes up fast really quickly, there's 
there's there's a similar probability that it might crash as fast as possible. So let's say if, if Metaverse even crashes 50%, uh, and, and RMRK uh, uh, is, is, is basically 500 million, it's 500 million, and the sector averages decreases to 1.5 billion, even in that case, RMRK will appear cheaper. So you have a margin of safety in terms of even if the market declines. So for that reason, I kind of like the prospect and innovation of what they're doing and the price we are paying for it in terms of valuation is also kind of cheap in my books. Uh, uh, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this presentation, this deep dive on RMRK. Uh, I hope to see you next week with another deep dive. Uh, this is your host, Mehdi, signing off.